Adam. Hey, Adam. I was waiting for you. Look what I got. <laughs> now, for you people that don't know, I previously commented once about how I have such patience and you know, willpower. I have such willpower, yeah, that I am able to eat just one, just one potato chip. And you know you can't eat just one. You know you can't do that. <laughs> What's up, Barty? I'm gonna prove to Adam that it can be done, yeah? Let me get a good one. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look for a good one. A really, really good one in there. Let's see. Ah, oh, I found one. That's a pretty good size. I think, I think that's a good size. Okay. Watch and witness. And maybe you'll learn something. Or maybe not. <laughs> it can be done. And I do it all the time. People think I'm crazy. I just think I'm Claudia. <laughs> um, what's up, Eddie? Eddie. Eddie, the master. Eddie, the legend. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie the wonder Eddie the light of my life Eddie I don't know how you do some of the stuff you do but I, I'm very inspired for both beggary and knucklebone and uh, yeah man you freak me out dude I keep trying to do the stuff you're doing but I can't get that speed yet and I can't get that smooth flow like I want it to I want it, I want it so bad on the K-Bone. I want it so bad, like so bad. But uh, I don't know, maybe I'll get it. I'm kind of getting close. So we'll see about that. We'll see about that, we shall see. Your pen spinning really, really comes through, dude, on your, on your K-Bone. Style. That's pretty cool. I tried to get into pin spinning, but then I didn't get very far. <laughs> I was so dedicated, I would sleep with the pin. I would put it beside me on the next pillow, and I would sleep next to it and dream that I would get better. And I don't know, it didn't really happen. <laughs> It didn't really happen. All pins should be so lucky. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh you oh you buttering me up you just want to butter me up don't you oh yeah you like that I have been working on uh, let's see what is it they, they go opposite because I'm used to doing them this well I'm messing up now I'm doing a rolling stop slip <laughs> I do that a lot. Okay, so this is the rolling stop. It usually goes that way, that way, in that away from you direction. 
I'm trying to mess with them this way. Coming to you. Yeah? Coming to you. <laughs> Wait, I missed that. What did you say? Did you did you get the bellows yet? I really want to see them in action on your live stream. Oh, the bellow. The bellow is the little brother of the halo. You know the you know the halo, yeah. You know the halo. You know the halo. Okay, the bellow. I I don't have it yet. No, I'm going to get it. I think I'm gonna get it. Next week, sometime next week, and I'll do an unboxing for you, and I will, and then I'll do it on, I'll, I'll live stream it too, like on Instagram, all those good places. Okay, so Eddie, are you still there? Sharon! Oh, Sharon! <laughs> What's up, girl? What you doing? <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Eddie. Eddie? If you're still there, I, I do something that reminds me of you. Wait, which one is it? I think it's that one. No, not that one. <laughs> Here, I have, to do, I have to be a little closer so you can see. <laughs> That reminds me of you. I don't know why. When I do when I do my ring finger rolling stop slip. For some reason. Wait, does it go the back? Does it go this way? I think it goes this way. It just reminds me of you. I don't know why. Maybe someone out there in the world knows. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon, much love to Sharon. Much love to my slinging sister from another mister, Sharon. <laughs> Sharon, are you gonna stream today? Are you gonna do a tutorial? Are you going to show us some Hanukkah do-it-yourself magic? Or am I spoiling the fun? Or am I, am I just thinking that you're gonna do it but you're not? Or I don't know. Someone needs to tell me. I need to be in the loop. Baby girl. Bring me in. <laughs> oh, Joel, I'm sorry. Okay, so these, as you know, a lot enough you know. These are Macromas. TGP. <laughs> Why though? Oh no, I'm not even counting time. Hold up. Hold up. And that's how I take care of toll free callers. I know who they are. I saw what they did. I know who they are. I'm not talking to them. <laughs> Okay, so I changed my mini chromentums, the cord, to 550. It was a rockin', it was a rockin' of 425. I still have the cord, I think, but did I put it away? I think I put it away. But I like this one. This is 550. I'm more 550. I do the 550. Oh, I hung up. Am I frozen in time? Bill <laughs> collectors. Chris, can you see me? Or did you did I freeze for you too? What's up, Chris? What's up? Oh, okay, good. Okay, so anyway, I made I changed the cord. Look, I matched my nails, huh? I didn't realize. I changed the cord to a 550 for my nickel 22 gram chromentum. Momentum. I like 550 way better. And I know there was discussion. 
couple days ago about the width of cord, the width of cord, and drinking the Kool-Aid, an expression that every time I hear it, I, I, <laughs> I think of the tragedy of Guana or whatever with uh, Jim Jones. Every time I hear <laughs> drinking the Kool-Aid, <laughs> I can't, <laughs> I can't disassociate from that. But yeah, uh, someone mentioned drinking the Kool-Aid of 550 and I guess I drank it because I, I like 550. When I first started slinging, I don't remember seeing 550 in any chords. And I kind of started when everybody started, when, when Matt started uh, distributing them and making his own. He sent me some sets. Everything that he's ever made from the beginning was 275 chord that I'm aware of. Now I know paracord has been around forever, but I don't know the specifics of them being used in beglary because I've only seen 275. Then when 550 started popping up, I was reluctant to try it. I was just so used to 275. But uh, I guess I've drank the Kool-Aid. <laughs> Because I really, <laughs> you're distracted by the rolling stuff. You distracted me, dude. I was, I was reading what you said. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, no. So 550. I, I grew to love it, and I'm so addicted to how it feels, and I'm addicted to the uh, the play. Like it feels like better play. I tried 275 just just a while ago. It <laughs> not too bad now. 275. 275 is good. I I still love 275. It just feels weird to me now compared to 550. That's 275. And see the thickness. See the thickness. It feels hard and like a twig to me right now <laughs> like I can do it it's not like I can't play with it but it just doesn't feel like I want I <laughs> I like how this feels better it's soft it's like a pillow makes you want to just relax and then I put and then I do this one and I'm like I'm angry <laughs> But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I hope it's not copyrighted. I picked a non-copyright uh, video to play. They better not ban me, man. I'm just gonna get so sad. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't know who it is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it sounds good, I like it. It's supposed to be a non-copyright mix. I don't know anymore. I don't know who to believe anymore. <laughs> Some sets work for 550. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it depends on the set. Like, for example, we remember these, yes? Wait. Okay, we remember these from last week that I made for you. I showed you how to do, and then my jingle jingles. I want to show you the thickness. I thought there were 275 with the cord I was using for that. It might be. But here's a thickness comparison. This is 275. This seems a little thinner, so I'm not sure what it is. And then this one is Astro Jack's cord. <laughs> string is what we called it. We called it string. Uh, and that's the thinnest of them all. Yeah. But I use the thin one for the bell sets because they fit inside the little groove better. But in this case, I'm not doing that. I think I, I did this one differently. I used a little key ring 
uh, to hook into. But see how small that is? You gotta get it in that little bitty hole. So you're gonna put your cord in there. And for that, yeah, thinner, thinner cord works better for stuff like that. So I agree, it depends on the set. And uh, let me scroll now. What did I miss? Ah, oh, Sharon, what did you say? Probably gonna stream much later. No, Hanukkah. I think I'm gonna feature the TGP parts of my collection. 550 is the way to go. That's what I'm talking about. 550 right here. 550, not 550. 550, not 550. 550. <laughs> okay, you get it. Hey, Clyde. What's going on? Clyde is cool, dude. Clyde needs to make more videos. Erica. I just saw you're here. You think it's a good way to put it? With the with the width of I think I think it's it's all like I said previously, I've said it before. I'll say it again. It's all your own preference, your own, what you feel most comfortable with. There is no right, there is no wrong. It's very uh, customizable to your liking, and, that, and it should be. Do I have 425? 425, yes. I got it with the Curlmentum with these mini nickel. And I just I changed it to 550 because I think I like 550 better. 550 works better for me. It was just a tad too thin. So I, I switched them up today. Earlier. I was gonna do this one too, because these are the these are the OG, Sharon. The OGs. This is the original gangster uh, <laughs> Titans. And I was gonna change the cord because I was playing with them last night. I pulled them out and I started to slam them and I, I was like, huh, I, I need to change this cord. It's just too rough. It's just too tough. It's just too stiff. So I'll do that later. And then this, and so this is what I want. I want 550. And I don't care personally if it flattens out. I've seen also, uh, Eddie has a good little tip for making it round, to keep your 550 round. And I added that to the files. And you have to, um, what is it? <clears throat> From what I understand, you gotta gut it all. And then you gotta, you gotta pull through your, your 275 but uh, that's to stop it from flattening out I don't mind if it gets flat personally I really don't care I just like it to be thicker oh good you're gonna hack the t you're gonna do the hack tutorial Eddie awesome I'm scrolling through these messages or these comments hold up Jess I generally have 550 gutted on everything, except my smaller, lighter sets. You, okay, that's a good point. If you have a set that's light, you may want thinner cord. But these are light for me. These are 275. I mean, these are 22 grams. <laughs> these are 22 grams. Uh, the Herks are generally light. I got the coppers. They're, the, they're a pretty light set, but I'm rocking 550 because like I said, you know, it, it depends on what you feel most comfortable with. And even with lighter sets, I feel just more comfortable with the 550 now. I drank the Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh, thank you. You love the purple cord? Okay, what else do I have that's purple? I don't have too many purple. This is my only one so far. It's like a, it's almost like a pink, but not really. But it, it almost matches my, I gotta redo these. 
What sizes of the chromes do you have? Chromas come in one size. Erica said it. She, yeah, that's right. Erica knows better the name of these. Are they the original chromas? But yeah, I think they all come in just one size. Oh, chromantum. Oh, chromantum. Okay. I got two sizes. I got the 22 nickel, and I recently got the 36 gram bronze. Bronze, baby, bronze. So, here they are side by side. Let me see how they look. Ooh. Yeah, I like them. I like them both. And I like them both on 550. Sharon, Sharon says, that's true. Beglery can truly be an expression of who you are. Do I sound, do I sound like a commercial? <laughs> anyway. And that can be a variety of things. That's why I love the variety of beads and cord. Oh no, I can't read the rest. <laughs> it got cut out. <laughs> but no, I agree. I agree with you agreeing. Yeah, Jess is like me. He kind of likes it flat. That's not that bad. That's right. Oh, send me more. Yes, Erica, send me more cord. Please. Please, please. Oh, please, please, please. Do you have any reflective ones? I know you see, I, know, I saw some in there. And I'm dying to use those. But I, I haven't needed to. Maybe I should put... Oh, dude. I should put a reflective cord on the Titans. Yeah. That would be cool. Herx, I actually added a stainless steel bead from the Everyman Guts to add a little more weight. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Really? On the inside, eh? Interesting. Well, for that, that would be a tight squeeze, though, if you're going to use 550. But yeah, I got, I'm running 550 in there. And it was 550 ready, so I like that. Since I'm 550 friendly now. Oh, goodbye, Erica. You're leaving. Much love to you. Mwah. Kisses. Okay, so, uh, where was I going with this? Very sporadic, very, very uh, all over the place stream I'm giving you right now. Hi, Tomo. Hi, Tomo. When I made, these are my September beads. Word, love to rain city skills. These are my September beads. When I strung these up to 550, I use this yellow cord. Yeah, can you see it? Kind of blown out. And oddly enough, I use the same pattern and the same color for my fidget sling slings and my fidget slingers that no longer spin. <laughs> they know they no longer spin uh Jeremy what's up with that I think wait this one kind of kind of spins kind of but look at this one I have issues with this one look at look at that come on now <laughs> I have spinners that spin longer wait Must I show you? Must I? Must I? Look at that. Look at how long that spins. I want that for this. Can we make this happen? We don't need the lights. But can we make the spin be that long? I want, I want this. I want that here. I want 
That's what I want. <laughs> Other than that, I, I love them. I think they're cool. Oh no, I can't turn off the lights now. Oh no! Ha, I got it. That's just my, that's just my, um, I am spoiled. I will tell you truthfully. I will tell you true. I, I have been spoiled by fidget spinners to spin longer. What happened to my music, dude? Maybe it was too loud anyway. It's spinning right now. It's just, it's, it's thinking. Too much. I can't do too many things, apparently. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> my internet is just so slow. It's, it's really crappy. But the point I was getting to was my Rain Cities, my Rain City skills, chords match, which makes it easy for me to uh, find them because they're both, they're like in the same family. Yeah, they're cute. Oh, do you really, Joel? We're, we're, we're cousins. Clean them. Tomo tells me to clean the bearings. Oh, Ruben was here. Aloha, Ruben. Ruben will come back and watch this later. Aloha to you, Ruben. Mwah. Let me see. It would work if you do it the same way as ring spinners. I'd put ring spinners? Is there a thing? Chord buddies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. I thought that was cute. Like, I looked at them and then I said. I said to myself. I said. Self. You put the same color cord. You kooky little thing, you. Yeah, I think uh, I, I mentioned the spinning situation once to Jeremy and uh, at Rain City Skills. And he was like, uh, it, it has something to do with the manufacture of the bearing itself, he said. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't know anything about that. I just want these to spin, the, you know, stock. I don't want to have to go and buy other bearings to make them spin longer. I don't want to have to do that. I already oiled them. Maybe I, I did wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But that's what you do with yo-yos. Put speed grease on it now. I don't know. Maybe it's a yo-yo thing. I don't, I don't really know. I like for things to be ready. I like for things to happen. Out of the box. There you go. No mess, no fuss. It's, it, there it is. I mean, I... Granted, I enjoyed putting different, uh, trying different methods on these, and it was fun to experiment, to put different, to not put a bearing, to put bearings, to put two bearings, you know, to put your uh, weights on the insides. I, I use this one. That's the one that I like. I mean, you know, all that is fun. But ain't nobody got time for that. I'm not gonna go out and get different bearings. <laughs> Come on now. I want I wanted them to work. I'm sad. I'm so sad. <laughs> give me give me sad faces. I'm sad now. Cry cry. Cry cry. Sad faces. Come on now. No. <laughs> it's all good. I like them anyway. I still think they. I still think they're cool, man. They're, my, they're one of my go-to sets, actually. But I'm not gonna lie, I haven't gone to them lately. I've been going to Party Arties. Oh my God. These were my winnings from Rob's giveaway. He gave these away, uh, was it last? It was two weekends ago on his stream. And, and he said, <laughs> 
I don't know how I won. Honestly, I've been winning lately. I'm on fire. I don't even know. I don't, I don't even like. I'm the most unlucky, lucky person ever. Cause I'm not lucky at all. I, if there's something that's gonna happen, it happens to me. It, it's never, it's never a good thing. So <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit besides myself because I'm like, wow, this is cool. I think I'm, I'm having a stroke of good luck. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, the winning number was, he wrote it down. If you watch the stream, it was so crazy. He wrote it down. He's like, okay, I wrote down a number. It's, it's between one to 50. It, Rob is so cool. I love Rob. It's between 1 to 50, okay, you know, the first person that guesses it. 1 to 50, dude, what are the odds of that? Honestly, 1 to 50, that's uh, not that easy, man. Not that easy in most, but with one guess, I got it with one guess. And I don't know what it was, dude, just some, something when he told me about the numbers, when he, when he said, pick a number, I started thinking of that song, by winger 17 it just popped into my head and i was just like oh i'm gonna put 17 and that was it and then i won these yay so thank you thank you thank you to the metal gods that put that song inside my head from old school 80s hair metal she's only 17 yeah that's the song. Daddy says she's too young, but she's old enough for me. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not anymore, buddy. In this day and age, <laughs> that don't fly. <laughs> Isn't that sad? As much as things have changed, I wish they'd stay the same. Not because I, I like the bad things that happen. It's just I'm more. I'm I'm a humorous person. I'm lighthearted. Like if I get a cat call in the street, I actually feel good about it. I hardly ever get them. It kind of boosts my ego, you know. And it makes me feel like, huh, like someone noticed me from far away, and they can't see me very well. I'm in a car. They only see half of me. They can't see my whole body. Like, why am I going to get offended because someone whistles or someone says, hey, you know, that kind of makes me feel good. But I'm a different kind of creature, I guess. And these days, you know, everything is so politically correct. And I just want to sling. Honestly, that's all I want to do. I don't, I don't want to think about stuff like that. Okay, so check this out. Check this out. Yeah, hey, Chris, that did, it happened to me, actually, and I was so excited. <laughs> it, it hardly ever happens, but it happens to me in Corpus Christi, of all places, in South Texas. It's not a hustle and bustle type of town. You know, I mean, it has been growing steadily. There's too many people, they don't believe in birth control. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, yeah, it hardly ever happens. And, uh, but when it does, I embrace it. You know, I think it's cool. I'm like, oh man, somebody noticed me, man. That's awesome. So yeah, I was actually driving. I was driving and someone, and I have the window down because I don't, my AC don't work in the car. So I always have to have my windows down when it's, you know, summertime, when it's hot. And it's usually always hot. Except for right now, it's a little cool. But I still gotta have the window down. And so, <laughs> Yeah, some dude was just like in a truck and he just passed me this way. So he could only like barely see me, I guess. But I guess he liked what he saw. I guess my head looked really sexy that day. <laughs> so he was like, not, no offense to you, Chris, and your big head. You say that you have a big head. I think it's just fine. I see nothing wrong with your head. The size of it fits your body perfectly. You know, everything happens for a reason, dude. I think that that head, you should embrace that head. You should love that head. You should say, yes, this is my head. I know it's not too big. It's just right. It's my size. That's the way I see it. <laughs> but yeah, the guy saw me and he was like, hey, ha ha. Like, I forgot how he said it. 
It was sounded really cool. I knew it was my way, and I was just like, hey. <laughs> So to me, you know, I'm old school. I like to watch, you know, Benny Hill, <laughs> the classics. I like to see Looney Tunes, you know, things that were funny, but are not funny anymore, <laughs> sadly. But I feel, I feel sad that those kinds of things had to go. You know, when like you're watching Looney Tunes, for example, you're seeing a cartoon and it's Pepe Le Pew. And you know, he's just a skunk. He's looking for love. But yeah, I mean, come on, it's a cartoon. It's not even real. I've seen people uh, comment on Pepe Le Pew calling him bad, dirty names because he's looking for love and, and, he, and he mistakes a cat or a skunk all the time. And he's like, mwah, 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 I love you, love you, mwah, mwah. I do that to my little bit. Did, did you hear that little? That's how I give my affection to my little bit because that, that's it's a tribute to Peppa Le Pew. I'm like, mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> and she loves that. <laughs> but yeah, I see people make comments about the cartoon and they call it in a bad way. And they say that, you know, more about it. things that are not no one ever had that intention back in the day i don't think that they were thinking oh let's make this guy like a <laughs> a bad guy <laughs> he's just a skunk man looking for love that's all he's nothing bad with that nothing bad with the cartoon come on have you seen the cartoons today i'm kind of glad i don't have any kids because I don't think that I would let them see the cartoons of today. I would make them see Transformers and G.I. Joe and uh, Gem and the Holograms. That was Gem and the Holograms. I, I love that. I have the box set. That's what I would do. But I don't know. I think everything's just too damn, everything's too damn serious these days. And I, I, I wish that it wouldn't be. Now this is an Etsy set from Erica, my good friend Erica, who, who's gone. That's why I don't mind joking about it. My dad is self-conscious. <laughs> oh, your dad has that same shape head. That's adorable. <laughs> I love your head. I think your head fits you well. You wear it well. Don't take it off. Leave it on there. I show you that I've been working on that I want to show you that I've been working on that I would like to show you. No, she did. She didn't make it. She sent it to me. She got it from an Etsy shop, and she sent me all the cords. But she had already strung this up. She asked me what was my length, and I had to lengthen it a little bit. I had to undo a knot because since she asked me, which it was six and three quarters. It has grown to seven and a half, yeah. And now I have to have all my sets that size. If, they're, if they are not that length, I feel icky. I don't like it. it have, they all have to be the same, the same length. If I go up in length, I have to extend them all because I sling them all. <laughs> yeah, seven and a half. But it's really not that. It sounds it sounds bigger and longer. <laughs> it sounds longer than what it is. <laughs> that did not come out right. <laughs> did not sound right. <laughs> oh, I beat you? That's nothing, dude. Seven and a half? Come on. I know a guy on uh, Instagram that rocks 11 inches. 11, my child. I think that's flying beggary. 
And when he's doing his stuff, you think this is long. Oh, that reminds me, look, I'll show you. You wanna see something cool? <clears throat> okay, much love to Artie. Party Artie. Party Artie. Look at how long this is. You're talking about long? I left these long on purpose. This one's way longer though. This one's almost like a mini toy. That's how long this one is. But yeah, he left these, these cords kind of long for me to trim them down. And now that's really long. See what that is right there? I wanted to see what it was like to swing a really long one. And it's pretty cool. That's not bad, I can do it. But I do stuff like that, so. I'm not from this planet. <laughs> now this one, this one. <laughs> this one right here. <laughs> this one is, is takes a while for me to get used to because it's just so long. So it's like I can, I can do kind of cool stuff with it. Instead of a finger wrap, I do a hand wrap. You see, a compensating for a link. That's that's what you do in situations such as that. So you have to you have to remember that um, any skill toy that you play with, and I know this just from experience. <laughs> any skill toy that you play with has advantages, has its disadvantages, but you have to discover them on your own. No one else can tell you. You have to discover them on your own and then turn them into something, something magical, something. <laughs> I, now I sound like the never ending story. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I'm over my time. But yeah, if anything you learned from me today, learn that size does not really matter. <laughs> width and length but that did not sound right <laughs> why are you doing this to myself okay yeah <laughs> it's all in how you feel and you should you should apply that to everything you do. I think I I suggest my advice to you is to uh, do what you like and use what you feel most comfortable with, and then manipulate it, make it an extension of yourself, as Erica commented earlier. It's an extension of yourself, so you need to see it not as Oh, this is just a toy, you know. Oh, I can't get I, I can't get those tricks. You know, you can't like get frustrated. You have to feel like it's a part of you, right? And every motion is just a part of you that's moving. Think of it that way for you beginners out there. That's a new tip. It's a part of you that you can control, and it's an extension of yourself and you can express yourself in any kind of way. I mean, I guess I do a lot of aggressive slinging, I've been told. I have an aggressive style. Maybe that's my expression of any stress that I have and it's a stress reliever. So I'm releasing all that stress and the bad energy. Yeah? I'm doing push-ups. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's how, you know, it should be. It shouldn't be something that's too hard to get a hold of or too hard to understand or, oh my God, I can't figure it out. And you know, you get all upset about it. Like there's no need to, there's no need to stress. Everyone learns at their own pace and everyone likes their own style, their own thing, their own length, their own width of chord. So rock what you like and keep rocking it. And that's all I gotta say. That's it. Thanks for watching and watch the rest of the streams because I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be some. 
and I'm going to be watching and have a good Saturday.